Leicester Tigers, though. It doesn't get any easier than the last few weeks, you know. The games are coming thick and fast, but that's probably one of the toughest away days on the calendar. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, yeah, Leicester, as everyone knows, they're, they're a formidable force. They're, they're, they're great. You know, they're at Welford Road, 24,000 people watching you and, and it been on TV, which makes it a, you know, a, more, a more special occasion for, for, for us, the fans, and, and everyone else like that. I mean, we've just got to go out there with our own, our own game plan. We've got to try and sort of, you know, uh, block out sort of any any distractions up there. And, and you know, we know we know it's going to take, you know, 80 plus minutes to wear them down, but hopefully we can do that and hopefully we can get over the whitewash and get that win, um, just like we did against Bath at the weekend. When you go back to the first year, of Premiership, they were the first away game. The strides that have been made by the Chiefs in that time, you've been very much part and parcel of that. It's a different Chiefs that go up there now, and you go up there almost with, with a real confidence and a, a bit of a favourites tag about you almost. Yeah, well, I, uh, yeah. I mean, like we just we've got a bit of belief in us. I mean, you, you can see where we are in all competitions. Obviously, quarter final in the in the Champions Cup, and then obviously we're, we're vying second at the moment, and, and going. And the boys have been going very well over these last few weeks, and. You know, I think you know there's a belief about us uh, a, a little bit. I mean, even though you know you, you, you go up to places like Sale and, and, and get a loss, but you come away with a bonus point. There's that belief that you can get something out of the game, and you know the boys have showed that over the last sort of you know eight to ten weeks, which has been outstanding. And it's about carrying that on. I mean, there's no better place to go at Welford Road and, and, and trying to see, trying to test our metal against them. Against them. Yeah, we know they're going to be a big force, like I say. But as long as we stick to our game plan, we do our things and we do them well accurately, I think we'll come through. You know, hopefully with a with a good four or five points. You talk about the last few weeks in particular. We've seen probably a more dogged uh, side to the Chiefs. You know, you're really grinding out victories. They're not pretty, the free flow and stuff of earlier in the season, but yeah. crucially winning against London Irish, winning against Bath, picking up points against Saris and Sale. It's big results for you, isn't it? Yeah, they are. I mean, you've got to, you've got to you know, the, the Premiership is so tight at the moment. Um, you know, you look at the you know the teams that are you know are, you know fourth and bottom or whatever. They're, they're they're still teams that you've got to go up there and you've got to rip a you know, rip a game away from them, and, and it's tough tough to do. You know you're not going to be expecting a 40 odd, you know points to nil, you know victory or whatever. They're, they're teams that are fighting for their life, so it's, it's it is really tough. But like I say, I think it's. Um, you know, as long as we, we stick to our, uh, our game plan and you know, you saw at the weekend the boys just played for that like, 80 minutes. You know, there was no letting up up 70 and letting them back into it. You know, and once we got that try and a bit of breathing space, and then we, we can you know play, play our own game a little bit and and sort of start shifting the ball. But I think the boys have been like I say very good in their game management and, and how they're picking up you know wins or how they're picking up bonus points and going after it, which I think is is, is a great ethic to um to, to work on. One man who played a part in that victory last weekend, Kai Horseman, signed a new deal today. Um, an old man hanging around the place. But uh, that experience, and, and I would put you in that category now, you've got a lot of that top flight experience is, is coming through and helping youngsters, but also is key in these big games. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, it's, it's great for Kai. He's a, he's, a, he's a good person to have around the, around the squad. Um, um, you, know, he, you know, he's a great player. Obviously, sort of the weekend, you know, he's great to come off the bench and sort of, you know, instill that, instill that sorry, experience. And, um, yeah, uh, I, think, yeah, I think it's great for him. Um, and also, you know, around the park, you know, around training and stuff, you know, you can bring on the youngsters like uh, like Simo and stuff, and you know, the the, the, the sevens or back row or the, or the young eights, or whatever. You know, it gives it gives it gives like you know boys like Dave Ewers that bit of confidence because you know you you know he's there telling you what to do. So I think it's great for the club that you know that, that you can also you know work and learn off other other players, which I think is great.